Hi guys. Uh, we're just about to take off in the GMA summer road trip RV. That's right. Got ourselves a Winnebago. We're going on the road. Uh, but we started this morning in Wichita, the Wichita Mountains in Oklahoma here. It's one of my favorite places, something I really wanted to share with the rest of America because people think that this place is flat. Oh no, you got some big peaks, second and third biggest peaks in the state, almost 2,500 feet at Mount Scott, um, but just beautiful. This is Judd Johnson Lake and Judd Johnson Park, just a part of the beauty that is the Wichita Mountains. I mean, the holy city over here, if you all haven't been, I think you need to. It's so gorgeous. It has amazing biking, hiking, something I've been able to do in the past. So again, I'm, we're about to take this, this baby on the road. Can't miss us. If you see us, <laughs> please stop us and say hi. Uh, but yeah, this has been a, a great way to start the summer road trip because I, I learned this morning a lot more about the wildlife here. I knew there was bison. Um, there are 650 bison that make this place home. And the originals actually came from the New York City Zoological Society, so the Bronx Zoo, basically. Uh, and that was fascinating to know. They came by rail car. So that's here. We got prairie dogs. I know I've seen lots of armadillo um, when I've been out here before. This is probably my fourth or fifth time ever coming to um, the Wichita Mountains. And I, this is why, because I, I really wanted to share this place that I had found and I felt like it was a gem that a lot of people in the country don't know about. And that's what this summer road trip is all about. It's about coming to see people in big cities, but it's also about showcasing some of our nation that so few people get to see or maybe even know is there. I find Oklahoma to be one of those places that just, you know, has some magic. It's not just all about the tornadoes, which is why I'm usually here. So it's nice to be here for us a, a special positive time. Luckily, I got Lisa with me here. So maybe you guys want to see our uh, GMA RV. By the way, these guys have been so helpful at the wildlife refuge here. And we'll leave you all because I just wanted to say hi. Wonderful to be with you. Professional cyclists, weekend warriors, and first-time riders met this morning at the holy city of the Wichita's for the Christensen Grand Fondo. It's a series of biking routes where participants have the option of traveling 22, 36, or even 60 miles. The proceeds from the Grand Fondo go to benefit both the holy city and the American Cancer Society. Event coordinator Lisa Christensen has a passion for cycling, and she says she's grateful to put this event together. To answer what's it mean to me, there's not even a word for it. It's, one of, it's, it's just a God thing. I feel like if it makes a small difference, if it gets people out here, if it gets more recognition for the Holy City, if it brings more donations into the Holy City, that's, that's my outcome. And just to watch it grow is a blessing. The morning began with prayer, and Natalie Gibson sang the national anthem in Cherokee and English. She says she's happy to support the cause. For me, it was like really cool to know that it's going to here and to the American Cancer Society. My great aunt just passed away, and so uh, she just passed away with cancer. So to come out here the week after she passed away is pretty cool to know that this money is going straight, straight to like our family kind of. This is the second time the Grand Fondo has been held to support the holy city of the Wichita's. Yeah. Hi, Chris Carmichael here. I want to invite you to the holy city. Good for everyone in your family, so come on out. Hi, my name is Kristen McGrath, former pro cyclist and member of the U.S. national team. One of my favorite things about riding my bike is the sense of accomplishment I get after I complete a challenging ride. Enjoy the challenge of the day. Enjoy the views. I'll be cheering you on in spirit.